in this video, I'm going to share with you the best man coverage scheme right now in Madden 22. This is the best man coverage. In my opinion, this is the best way to stop a lot of your spread style sets like trips tied in or U trips, any of that stuff. To me, this is one of your better defenses right now for that kind of meta. And so I'm going to show share that with you in this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. It's completely free to subscribe. We upload new content like this every single day to help you become a better Madden player. Secondly, and most importantly, is we're going to be talking today about the nickel 245 odd now i have an entire defensive guide that i wrote out of the nickel 245 odd i put videos with it as well to kind of break everything down for you we show you how to run this defense at the highest level possible we break down all of the pressure concepts over 20 different blitzes and schemes uh, around that in this ebook so if you want to get access to the nickel 245 odd defense i would encourage you to pick it up there's a link in the description below it's on sale for just 15 dollars one thing i want to let you know about it is that we are going to be updating this guide throughout the course of the Madden 22 season. So if there are a patch that changes the way the blitzes work, if there's a patch that changes the way the coverages work, you're going to get updates. If we find some new stuff, you're always going to be updated with the most up-to-date version of the defense, the exact defense that I run. So if you want to get access to that defense, again, there's a link in the description. All you got to do is um, all you got to do is click that link. It'll take you right over to the website. And like I said, the guide is just 15 bucks. So uh, cover one Robert Press out of the nickel 245 odd is, in my opinion, the best way to play man-to-man uh, -man coverage. Okay. And it's really only going to require a couple of adjustments from us. And it's real simple. All we're going to do is, and here's what I like to do. I like to flip this. I like to be able to flip the linebacker whenever I want. So like in this example, I'm playing trips tight end. The blitz is really good on the left side. It's not always that good on the right. It's really good on the left. So you're going to see here, all we're going to do is we're going to move this over here to the left, just like so. And then, like I said, I like to man align press coverage. And then the, here's the most important thing. You want to shade your coverage outside and over top. That's going to prevent you from getting bombed over the top with this. And then I personally like to crash my defensive line down. And honestly, you can use her whoever you want. I personally prefer to use her this guy. Um, and if I see a skinny post, I'll go guard it. But if you don't feel comfortable using the deep middle, then just use her the three rec. That's fine as well. So use her either one of these guys. If you want to do this, you could also drop one of your defensive linemen into a zone. As you see right here, I'm going to drop this, this guy on the right side. I can drop him into a, like a flat or whatever I want. But what you're going to see is this is pretty solid defense. It's pretty solid against trips that in. You're going to see that everything is pretty much bagged. And as you see, we're taking away crossers. We're taking away corners. We're taking away all of that stuff with man coverage. Real simple, real simple. Um, and then we can basically adjust out of this. So, again, um, you can run it like this, too. You can run it with auto flip on if you want. All you have, to, all, What I would recommend if you were going to do that is just spread your linebackers and show blitz and then QB contain. And you're going to see that it's going to create this little nat nice little blitz angle on the right side. And then, again, shade outside, shade over top. Really important that you shade outside and over top every single play. And as you see, I mean, this, this plays really, really well. These crossers that normally get open, they're not getting open against this so this is a great base call in my opinion for a lot of different reasons now a, another version of essentially the same defense uh would be to use this it, 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 this other adjustment that i really do like to use and that's to put the most outside corner on the trip side like jamel dean on a cloud flat and then i'm going to man up Mike Evans with this guy. So I've got inside leverage if there's a skinny post. I've got man coverage if there's a deep vertical. And then from there, everything else is the same. We're just going to shade outside, shade over top. Now if they run a corner route to the left side, we're going to have really, really good coverage. And then again here, please don't sleep on the fact that we're bagging a tight end corner out. So this is a great little defense, in my opinion, to, to kind of just get a feel for what's going on. I personally don't run a lot of man coverage, but to be honest with you, I mean, it's kind of bagging. And as you see here, I mean, we're just working the coverage. You're lurking the middle of the field, looking for anything like a slant or an option route to the running back. All of those things you got, you're going to be just fine. This is a great little defense. I do want to make you aware of one thing, and that is an adjustment to this. And that is something that J-Wall did last year. 
And that's this uh, idea of like a stop and go. So this stop and go route, well, if you motion, you'll see here, this, this will sometimes beat it. Now I did not shade, I did not do the shade. So let me do the shade real quick and show you that. Again, this is why I personally pr recommend shading outside and over top. Okay, so we're gonna shade outside, over top, and then I'm gonna put that, uh, I'm gonna put that stop and go route out there. And then once he gets over here, we're gonna smart route it, kind of snap it like right at the numbers. And just want you to kind of keep your eye on it. And you see here, he plays it a lot better. He doesn't get completely toasted. And the safety on that side is able to come over and help him out. Um, let me show you the same route on the trip side. Um, so again, I'm just gonna shade outside, shade over top. And then I'm gonna put that stop and go route out there. And then I'm gonna just put like a smoke screen or whatever. And I just want you to watch a stop and go. Now you'll see here, it does get open. But it's not like, it's like I said, it's not something that is going to, I mean, super kill you, especially if you do something like this. You can roll your coverage. So um, another thing you could do is you could deep half this guy over here, and then now your responsibility is, you know, any kind of uh, corner or not corner, but crosser or post. So you see something like this, and then basically you're gonna play more like a mid read, but you know, this is gonna be able to stop that. So that same concept here, I'll show you, we'll stop and go. And what you'll see is, number one, it's not open anyway, but then as you see, the deep half is able to recover. So this is a great defense to me for defending a lot of the f sets that you might not know how to defend them. This is a really good defense, and it, it's good against bunch too. I, I don't want to minimize that. I mean, it, it can be very effective against gun bunch. Uh, I would tell you that gun bunch, uh, in my personal opinion, does have some really, really good route combinations for man-to-man, -man. but... Um, but I will also say that if you call man coverage, you're going to be in a really interesting position. For example, I really like this, just dropping a simple purple zone over there, lurk in the middle of the field. You're going to have an incredible pressure against gun bunch. And then you're going to see here, I mean, we just get really good pressure and we force them to throw before they're ready so uh, i love this defense i think more people should be running or at least mixing this call in some again the most important thing shade your coverage outside and over top before i would recommend doing that like i mean that is so important you got to make sure that that adjustment happens as long as that adjustment happens things like these little corner routes you're gonna pick them off that guy has slotomatic best route runner on the team and Rod Cockrell, who the heck knows who that is, and he's bagging this guy. So that's what I'm getting at is you can you can stop a lot of stuff with just straight man this year. Um, it's not I'm not saying that it is as good as it was last year. It is not. What I am saying is this can put you in a position to at least get a feel for what they're doing. Look at the crossing routes. That's a straight up crosser from PA crossers and it's not getting open, okay? So try this out. I, I'm telling you right now, um, you know, don't expect to just shut people out. I don't think you're gonna do that in Madden 22, but this is a defense that I think needs a little bit more, um, a little bit more spotlight because everyone's running zone. Everyone's running zone. But if you mix this shaded up man coverage in at the right time, I think you're going to be surprised with how it's going to play. I think you're going to find that you're going to take away stuff that last year you weren't able to take away towards the end of the season. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to get the complete two, four, five odd defense, I would really encourage you to do it. And the reason why is because it teaches you not only how to play man coverage well, but it teaches you how to incorporate all of the coverages and it teaches you how to blitz the crap out of pretty much any offense in the game. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And this is a coverage that I think deserves a little bit more love this year. Cover one robber to me is probably the best way. It's definitely the best way to play man this year. And I think you should call it more if you haven't already been calling man. Um, if you've been calling man, let me know what the results have been for you. But I think man requires a specific couple of routes to beat it. And... If they're trying to beat zone, they may not have those man beaters on the field. So mix this in. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. If you want to get the guide, there's a link in the description. Just go down, click that link. It'll take you right over to the website, and we'll get you all squared away.